Calvary greetings, my people. How are you doing? So I'm going to be doing a series of live this weekend. And this is my first one. And this is for anybody who has a relationship, who is married, who is thinking of marrying anybody in the future. Today, we want to talk about prosperity. We want to talk about financial freedom. And we want to talk about building financial legacy for the black community. And I want to share one secret with you today that I haven't shared too much of in recent times. I've been watching several family. How are you, everybody? Where are you tuning in from? Can you let me know today? I'm in the backyard. <laughs> so I want to, I, can, you, can you let me know where you're tuning in from? It's going to be brief, but it's going to be something that I want you to think about. So if you're on here, you're single. You're on here, you're married. You're on here, you're in a relationship. This is for you. So this is technically for everybody. And it's today, it's about financial freedom and building financial legacy for the black community. And what I want to address today is an elephant in the room. So I have a few, I have, a, I have friends and I've been following a lot of pages on social media. And one thing that is constant among black people is secrecy in marriage, secrecy in relationship. You are with someone you are sleeping with each other but this person doesn't know how much you make this person doesn't know how much you make you're working they don't know how much you make what is the relationship you're in when your partner uh, or your spouse just don't know how much you make I don't think we can build financial wealth and financial freedom I don't think we can build a legacy that we want for our children if we're too secretive so that's one thing they don't know how much you make in some cases, your partner actually know how much you make, but you have two separate accounts. Everything is separated except the little money that you used to run the family. That's the only thing you decided to put together, the little money that you used to run the family. So you have your own money separate. The, the person also have their own money separate. Do you know what you're doing when you don't combine income? The power of wealth combination is what has built me and my husband. We combine our income. In that case, we can buy more things. We can approach bigger projects. We can work together as a team, especially when we're thinking of building a real estate portfolio. When you are separate incomes, everybody manage their finances separate. What that means mostly is that when it's time to make big decisions, your wife might have used her whole money to buy Gucci shoe because it's her money. And, you know, she can use it for anything. But if it's together, there is accountability. If it is together, there is ability to approach bigger projects. Let's use this as an example. Let's say one person is making $70,000. The other person is making $90,000. The person making $70,000 cannot buy a house on their own in a lot of parts of the world. They can't. The person making $90,000 can also not buy the kind of home that they want. Now, when two people combine income together, what happens is at that point, you, both, you jump that income to a six-figure salary, maybe 160000 Now, with a 160000 income in a place like Ontario, if you want to put... To, if we want to put down, let's say, a down payment on a 700000 home, that's enough money for a down payment for a 700000 home. Now, if you live in places like Saskatchewan where the housing market is going for three fifty, now you can buy two homes as a family. You can live in one, and then you use the one as a rental property that will be bringing in income for the family. So can you see that there's power in combination? It is very critical. Yes, somebody said they're scared of divorce. That is why we should have lawyers, right? When, when this part of the world, when you're divorcing, you get a 50 percent of that income you're getting 50 percent of everything let me share a story with you that is very peculiar to my family when i met my husband when he was my boyfriend and at that point i was still living uh, i was still living and working in canada one of the things that made me marry this man is the ability to not only talk love but to talk finance when i met my husband and at that point i was thinking of buying him my first home and i didn't have enough money to buy my first home so i approached him and say do you want to combine with me so that we can buy together so at that point i was i was not any too much so i wanted uh, to put down $35,000 as down payment. So I asked him, do you want to come and partner 25% on this with me? My husband decided that he was going to partner with me and put in 25% of what we need for that house. We bought that house and we told ourselves, if we don't end up marrying each other, it's okay. We'll sell this house. We'll take the profit. We will share. You get your 25% profit. Everybody go the separate ways. Guess what? 
from that moment upward, everything in our relationship, we are transparent. He knew how much I make. So my husband was able to advise me three months into our relationship that I was supposed to be making way more than I was making, that I was underpaid. He also allowed me to see that in the U.S. I could make more money, that with everything I have, you could make more money. What if I wasn't transparent with him? What if he didn't know how much I was earning? Will he be able to advise me on strategies to use to be able to triple or double my income? You know, having someone on your side loving is not enough you need to be open enough as partners so that your partner will know how much you make and then they can work with you on how do you make more how do you get better so like I was saying we bought our, we bought that first property together it was 25% in I was 75% in we were dating 18 months later we sold that house we made $200,000 we sold that house I made $200,000 he invested, we needed $32,000, invested 25% of that, which is like 7000 And 18 months later, he got a $7,000 back. He got the mortgage that had been paid into that house. And he got $50,000 on top of that as this portion of that. Why am I saying this to you? You know, you're thinking you're scared of divorce. You're scared of this and that. That's why they're, they're lawyers. When you come, there is power in combining wealth. Whether you combine it with your spouse, whether you combine it with your friend, when you bring two, two, two incomes together, especially when they're smaller, you can do bigger things, right? A lot of you will say, I've had people come on my program and say, Dr. Adi, I want to do what you do. I want to move like you. I want to, you will only move like me if you can actually be transparent with your spouse. I am 100% transparent with my spouse in terms of finances, in terms of everything. Choose sensible partners. If they are not sensible, what, what? if you can't talk finance with your husband, if you don't know how much they make, if you don't know their credit score, if you don't know anything about, if they're that secretive, why are you choosing to marry that man? Why are you, if you're single right now, you should be asking questions about these things. And if that person is so secretive, they, they can't tell you how much they make, they can't tell you their credit score, they can't tell you if they have student loan, you can't strategize with that guy, you should fucking leave that guy alone. You should not marry that guy. It is not for you. If you're in a serious relationship, just know if that person is not going to be willing to talk finance with you, they only want to say, I love you, get into your, if somebody can get into your pants, why can't they get into your bank account? If you can have a child with someone, you can share children with someone, why are you refusing to share joint account with that person and build well together? Because there is power in combining income, and I can tell you this for a fact. If I did not have my husband combining wealth with me, I would never have reached this place. If I didn't have a partner I can talk finance with, who we can really strategize. You know what? When you have a very sensible partner, you can really evaluate the risk you're about to take as a couple. So there are two eyes looking at that project, not just one eye. Both of you are looking. I have people who lost money through to, to crypto. Their husband didn't even know they have that amount of money in their account because their husbands don't know how much they have. I have people who don't know how much their husbands make. What the hell is that marriage if there is that amount of secrecy in that marriage? And that marriage, you people are sleeping with each other. You're having kids together. And yet you're that secretive. I want you to get home today and sit down and start to think about how you want to let go a little bit. Let go a little bit so that you can build the future you want for yourself and your family. Yeah, you're scared of divorce. Get a lawyer. Draft documents. Go in that agreement with legal backing. That even if there's no lawyer, write it down. Let a public notary be, be a part of it. When you are married in this part of the world, you don't even really need that. Because if you divorce, you're going to share everything. 50-50, everybody will get. That secrecy is not allowing your family to move forward. What your mother told you, that don't combine income with your husband, or don't have a joint account, only have small place. She, he's not helping you. She didn't combine money with her husband. That's why they were rich. That's why you are hustling right now. If your, if your mommy and your daddy has combined income in the beginning, they would have been able to buy bigger projects, bigger houses, and make big money from that. You would not be suffering right now. I'm telling you this because it's important for us to be able to leave something for our children. We can't live our lives the way our parents have left, lived their lives. That's, I've seen too much secrecy that it aches me. It aches me. I'm angry when I see wife, we have separate accounts. So we just have this small joint account where we put uh, what we want to use to sort 
uh, all the different things we spend in the house. So your bulk of the money that you are working for is sitting in that account. You are not strategizing with your wife or your husband on how to double that money. Inflation is catching up with that money. You are losing money on the go, and that money is sitting there. Now you want to go and make that crypto decision. You want to go and buy options. Now you know you will lose money. You won't even be able to tell your husband because he doesn't even know you have that money. Women, stop doing that. Men, stop doing that. Ego is not letting you tell your husband that you're not making... Uh, ego is not letting you tell your wife that you are not making money. That your job, they are underpaying you. If you tell your wife, maybe your wife knows Dr. Adi. Your wife knows Dr. Adi. Your wife can say, oh yeah, let's enroll to Dr. Adi's program so that they can help you level up. Or your wife even, your wife even knows how much you make, but you don't have conversations about wealth doubling. Which family are you running if all you talk about is I love you and watch movie and raise kids? You are not raising kids well. You got to sit down today and start to talk business ideas. Which business are we buying? How are we increasing our salary? I will tell you this. I met my husband three months later. My salary quadrupled four times. I moved to the U.S. to come and work. Why? Because I partner with a man that has sense. From the moment I told him how much I was making, it's like, what? No way. No way. He started telling me strategies to help you increase. Ah, with everything you have, I think in the U.S. they pay more. Do you want to check jobs in the U.S.? Check how much they're paying people like you. Ah, number two, that company, you should go and ask them for this and that. Three months later, I already knew that I was going to marry this guy. First date, I asked my, you know, I talked to my husband the first time he came to, to, to Toronto. I talked to this guy, you know, I'm marrying this guy. I'm marrying this guy. Why? It's not because uh, he's fine. He's tall, he's handsome. Oh, he's so emotional. No, no, he gets sense, man. This man gets sense. Now I, I won't marry him. I'm saying this because our marriages need to take a new dimension moving forward. You, you saw your wife struggling and uh, you know dr adi and you know if she make good money both of you can combine wealth you can buy that business why can't you tell her dr adi's boot camp is coming up let me pay 150 dollars my wife go knock yourself out there i know dr adi will give you everything you need so that in three months you can make more money you can bring it to this family we can use it to do business our life can move forward like somebody said Taking a new dimension, moving forward, I want to challenge each and every one of us on this call that you need a better transparency with your husband, with your wife. I want you to be more transparent, transparent with your finance. I want you to talk business. I want you to talk out you, how both of you should be leveling up in your career, making mad money and giving each other high five. I want you to talk about that. It's time for your wife, instead of trying to subdue her and make her a full housewife, can you give her Dr. Hadi's mentorship program so that she can also be making 150000 and bring that to your family, combined with your income? Do you know what that can do for you guys? It'll lead you guys to financial freedom and give your children the future that they deserve. It is where we talk so, my people. I say, this day that is hot on my mind, like, like right now, this money, money, better family, better relationship, you know, having women who has money and still are, oh, are listening to you because you are combining it. You, are be, you know, people say, ha, ah, I'm scared. My husband will leave me. A husband that you both have built an empire together cannot mess up easily. You both have combined income. You've now bought five houses. You've now bought two businesses. He knows you have power. You are making good money. He's making good money. You are sitting down once or twice a week. You are discussing serious finance. It's not that you are doing budgeting. No. I'm not talking about budgeting. Budgeting is general. You are talking about next level share. That man is not going to go and cheat because he has so much to lose. He has so much to lose. He knows there are not a lot of people with correct brain like you that are strategizing with him. That you guys are saying, let's buy that business. Let's share, we're buying that business. Let's do this right now. Let's do this right now. Babe, let's look at this business idea. Yes, lose money every now and then. I've done, have done crazy ideas. Well, I told my husband, I want to do this idea. He said, ha, this idea does not make sense. This is the account. I said, eh, eh, I want to try it. So yeah, 10,000 is your maximum of try and error. If you burn that 10,000, 
Just let's forget about it. You're not moving forward. If I didn't have somebody I can brainstorm with, there are things I would have invested in that I would have lost tons of money. But because I have a partner that I can tell before I go and do that, we will look at it together. And then you can tell me this is a lot risky. 10,000 is our threshold when you get to that stop. That person holds me accountable so I don't waste too much money. And it is our decision. So every time I'm in that, I'm talking to him. He's looking at it with me. He's saying, okay, it's still making sense. I think we should back out now. It's no longer making sense. Who are you brainstorming with? Your friend? Is your friend sleeping with you? Is your friend going to raise your child for you? Is your friend going to open a company that will become a legacy for your child? She's not going to do that. Your husband will. Your wife will start talking to her about money. And for you single people, if you are single right now, you are in a relationship with that man, you don't know his credit score. You don't know how much he makes. He hides everything to her nail. Or that girl that he leave that girl alone. That is not your future. Let her carry her hidden secrets and go. She's not yours. And you, that all you talk about in your relationship is love, love, love. You know, I don't, you know, you got to talk about love. But from today forward, you have to have that finance to it. Right. Like I said, my, my husband, our first house, you know, if you are with someone, you already bought the first house. We make money. And let me tell you another power of combining wealth. You know, when, when we, we came together, we, we were going to get married, my husband has proposed, then we had two options. Option one is to go and have lavish wedding in Nigeria with $75,000, or we should build a house and buy a second, another third home. You know, the option we opted for, both of us agreed that because we are both financially literate, we are financially connected soulmates. My husband and I agree, let's not do that. We had court wedding. Me and him alone went to court, sign paper, call our parents and say we are married, they'll be praying for us. That money, we built the house we want in Columbus, Indiana by ourselves, saying this is how we want the house to look like. We built that. We now bought another property from what is left to, to use as rental property. Instead of taking our 75000 to that we will put together and go and do Sumbalaja, Dumba, Jukba in Nigeria, mm -mm. We bought our second, we built our second home. We bought a, sec, a third home as a property that would be bringing income to us. Tomorrow, you say, ah, Dr. Hadi, I want to move like you. Can you forfeit that your uh, societal wedding or not? When you have the right spouse and you people are talking money, there are decisions that you will make that will shock the world. And even your parents cannot do anything about it. Tomorrow, my father still want to, she still feel like someday, maybe there will be one wedding. Me and my husband, <laughs> we are too calculative. When we sit down and do our plan, I say, ah, don't worry, please leave jollof rice alone. No, let's put it in this, this thing that we want. Let's put it in that thing that we want. And it's working for us. Yes, I didn't give you people jollof rice. Yeah, hey, but I built my house from scratch and then I bought another property and then another property. Jollof rice can stay. You, should, you would have eaten that jollof rice and you've gone to the toilet, right? I'm saying this because when you have someone you can talk to, not just heart to heart with love, but heart to heart on finance, your life changes for good. You know, I'm talking, I'm telling women, be transparent. Men, can you be less selfish from now on? And not want your wife to make less than you. If your wife lay, make less than you, wait till you gain. Wait till you gain if she makes less than you. Both parties should be helping each other level up, make money, make money, so that the more money you make, the more you can invest in things that will give your children the future they deserve in this country. Waiting you gain if you want to keep her down as a full house wife. Waiting you gain. Waiting you gain. You are at a big loss if she's not working. Because you'll be working hard alone. When she combining comes with you, it boosts your everything. Your credit opportunity, ability to buy multiple properties, ability to buy businesses, ability to do things double. That is why God wants us to have a partner. It's not just somebody to keep you warm at night. Somebody to help you thrive. Get to your goal faster. Somebody to think with so that you don't make mistakes all the time. 
somebody to work with as your accountability partner on every level. If your husband is not this, if your wife is not this, you got to go for marriage counseling right now. And you should be moved. Bring your husband to Dr. Hadi's mentorship. Come and tell me, it's counseling. Doctor, is not career. Let me cancel her in for you. It is well with our souls. Africans, African Americans, my him, or us that we will own businesses, we will own properties, that our children, when they are out of college, your children are getting to go to college without any debt. They are going to college brand new car. They are finishing, there is a business they can own. So they don't go and work for somebody and be doing yes, yes, sir, everywhere. And you are complaining racism. Have you seen anybody be racist against the CEO of a company? I own my company. Nobody can be racist against me. If you want your children to own their company, you got to start now together as a family. Have enough money to be able to buy a company or build one from scratch. Start working together beyond just raising kids together, cooking together, loving together, and praying together. Start emotionally being connected financially. Start becoming the accountability partner of one another. Let's drop ego. Let's drop secrecy. Let's drop that, uh, you know, not talking to one another on a deeper level. It is time for us to show forth. Boot camp is coming. Career boot camp is coming. Did you buy your boot camp ticket? You people, it's not only boot camp that you are coming for. Dr. Hadi is going to cancel everybody. That boot camp, we will do revival. I said it's career revival. We will do everything revival, man. You are coming out of that boot camp with another horror and another ginger to go and win. It is not, it is happening. Because what I brought you today is just, you know, a tip of the iceberg of what the boot camp is going to contain. You are going to leave your shackles and chains behind after the boot camp. Go and buy your boot camp ticket. Let's get you more money. You that you have wife that needs to get a career together, buy her that $150 boot camp ticket as a gift. You that your husband is struggling, buy him that ticket. Let him come to that book camp for two days and back book where book. And move forward. That book camp, you know how the boot camps are. We talk career, I will get angry if it's cry self, I will cry for you. You have to be better in this abroad. Dr. Adi alone cannot. You think it's only, you know, I'll say, ah, I just, it's not. I, I situation. I have landlord. My landlord in this house. God bless him. If I didn't meet that man, if I didn't meet that man, if I didn't marry this man, I would probably have won over 20 of what I have. I would still be living in Canada. Maybe I would have changed jobs. I would still be working like 100K. Ah, Uluwa Loroshe. The day he, the day I told him how much I was making, that was the turning point. My husband was like, for what? You have a PhD, you have all of this? No way. And he wasn't saying that. He was like, let's sit down. Let's work on how to get you out of that company. Oh, yeah, you are leaving that company. You, this is, no, you are not getting to another Canadian company. They don't pay well in Canada. Let's look at the U.S. for you. Oh, yeah, do you have your passport? Yes, I don't have it. When are you collecting it? Let's strategize. This is how you do it. The yeah, U.S. company will file paper for you. I said it's not possible. He said it's possible. Yeah, hey, you need the right partners. And your partner is a right partner if you change the dimension of communication. We just have to change the dimension of communication now. And that dimension changing starts from you. You have watched this right now. I want you to ask for your, ask yourself, what am I doing that I need to drop? Am I too secretive about my finances? Am I the one that has too much ego? Am I the one that doesn't even want to talk about career optimization? Am I the one slowing this family down? Am I the one keeping my wife down and saying, let us stay at home? 
I want you to evaluate yourself. After you finish watching this, now copy this link and go and give it to your husband. Let your wife watch it. After both of you now watch it at your dinner table tonight or on the bed. Now discuss this conversation and say, what do we want to do different? And as you are discussing it, buy your bootcamp ticket. Say both of us are going to the bootcamp. Oh yeah, where is the link? Buy the bootcamp. Let's, both of us, let's go. What am I looking for? What is my aim? You know, like, there are so many fakes on social media. But every day when I wake up, I still ask myself, am I dreaming? Is this me? How did I get this lucky? Is this me? In the next two years, I want you to be in that situation where everything is like a dream. You are in Nigeria thinking, oh, this is not possible for me. This is possible for you. I'm going to share a testimony tomorrow of somebody who attended our boot camp, career competitiveness, last year. This person lives in Nigeria. She got an international job that they are paying her in US dollars. We will share that testimony yet. Next. From Nigeria. Now she's making dollars. She's like, Dr. Adio, I got this job. Finally this year, when I'm ready, they're paying me in US dollars. Thank you. Thank you for the boot camp. The resume that I got from the boot camp, the skill mapping, everything, I applied it. International organization, boom. I'm earning in pounds. And I want that for you. Wherever you are, when you combine forces with your partner, it's easy to move abroad as a team because both of you have team tagging and supporting each other and gassing each other up. If your aim is moving abroad, if your aim is we want to stay here and win in that career, it is possible if both parties are actually supporting each other genuinely. This program, it doesn't matter where you are. The last testimonial we share, the person lives in the UK. Another testimonial is coming this week. The person, you know, that people from is Nigeria is living in Nigeria. So don't tell me this is not applicable. This is applicable. Your life must have meaning this year. This is applicable to anybody who is human, whether you are single. If you are single, you should be evaluating that relationship that you are in. If you are if you are in a relationship, and if you don't have any relationship yet, you need to write this down. When I meet the guy, I need to be looking at him. Is this secretive? I ask him how much he makes. He didn't answer. He used style and cover it up. How do I know how to help him if I don't know how much he makes? How do I know if he needs help? So if you are going into any, it's not the first question you ask on a date, but it's a question that you must ask when things are warming up. You know, I cannot forget, shout out from Germany, my girl from Germany. We're going to share that testimony that you gave us. My girl from Germany, she just won. From Nigeria, she got internship in Germany. She went to Germany. Now, in Germany, she got in a full-time job. She went on work visa from Nigeria to Germany and now full-time job. And now she's not stopping there. She's the one shouting us out on this now from Germany. If you like, sit down there. Everybody is leveling up. You're just saying, hey, I don't want to pay. How much is it that they say you should pay? Back to what we're saying. Single people, open high. Open high. Only engage people who you know they'll be transparent enough to talk about serious issues like their careers like their finances they're willing to combine income only engage them if your mommy is telling you don't combine income oh, tell mommy mommy when you were married to my dad we didn't have iphones we didn't have opportunity to become millionaires overnight in my generation it's important to combine income if we must leave generational wealth for our children let them know that Combine income, combine thoughts, combine ideas, move together as a force. Let each party be bringing ideas to the table. Evaluate that ideas as a team before you invest in it. No more, no more. I'm hiding, 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 hiding. Prayer cannot solve things that common sense should solve. Common sense should solve this one, not prayer. We cannot make we cannot pray our wealth into generational wealth. Actions, we need to act. Let us use power of combination to our advantage. And this has nothing to do with it is well. It is not well if we're not combining income. This has to do with actions. Common sense is what is needed here, not prayers. 
okay uh, i think this is the end of this uh sermon on the mount with uh, dr adi you know you are coming to career revival these are some of the things that will be happening at the revival we will have sermon on the mount multiple stages yeah we have career talks everything we'll now sit down and have a real life sermon on the mount we need the sermon on the mount this sermon on the mount is to help you get home and not sleep you'll be seeing my face in your sleep so that you can do the right thing Next year, I want us to have more millionaires among us. I want us to have people who have healthy marriages. I want us to have people who are no longer hiding. They're no longer in shackles and chains. They are free. They're free in the marriage. They're feeling like a leader. I want us to have husbands who elevate us because they know elevating your wife give your family more financial backing because the more she can get the better financial backing your family has the better opportunity you have to launch as a community to buy bigger stuff to buy better houses to buy that investment properties the better money your wife can bring to combine with yours if you have husband with ego let's send this video to them so that they can see what they're missing out because they're secretive they're not allowing you to help them let's send this to them it is well with all of us it is my hope that as a community as black people we can build huge generational wealth for our children we can build a true multiple avenue buying businesses real estate increasing our financial capacity in our workplace really it is important to be free in your home you are free when you no longer have secrets you are free when your husband or your spouse is no longer competing with you that is when you have freedom and this type of message is what we need to be able to enable us enable those husbands understand that it's not a competition. It's not. It's not a competition that I am winning. It is to our advantage when I win. And let me show you how you two can win. And this is me supporting you to win too. Winning should be a combined effort. All right. Thank you all for being here. I have another message for tomorrow. I will come on live again. I will let you know when I'm coming and I hope you can join. This weekend, you're getting the tips of the Career Revival Bootcamp. I'm sharing some life experience. I'm sharing some ginger for us to get to our next level. I hope you can join. If you haven't bought your ticket to the bootcamp, I hope you can go to the link in the bio. You click on it. You pay your $150. Secure your seat. And let's come to that bootcamp. And everything I have, I'm going to drop it on the table for you. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. This is goodbye.